Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And I am starting this video off using some products from my May 2019 Simon Says Stamp Cart Kit. And this was the Delicate Flowers Kit. I'm taking the Tim Holtz uh, Silver Glitter um, Alcohol ink paper and I'm using the alcohol pearl inks in the color intrigue and tranquil and also the alcohol blending solution and I first started off by just laying down or dropping in some of the blending solution and then I'm going in with the color tranquil and um, I'm just randomly just dropping drops in I'm just basically playing around with this ink using the alcohol uh, blending solution to just move it around as you can see in the video, I did not protect my fingers or anything uh, from the inks. I was just so happy to get this kit and ready to play with it. So next, I'm just going to drop in some of the color Intrigue. And I noticed that these two colors together produce a deep purple shade uh, that you'll see as I'm dropping in these drinks. Of these drops so I'm just gonna go back and forth adding color adding blending solution um, until I feel like um, I got a look that I like so I think this um, this cardstock this um, Tim Holtz cardstock is amazing I love this silver uh, silver sparkle sorry I can't hardly talk um, but yeah, so I've uh, laid down my colors. I, I'm pretty much done basically with this panel. I like the look of it. So I'm just going to let this dry. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to cut this in two pieces. Uh, and it'll be, um, I'll use both pieces for this project today. So... I'm really loving this and once it dries it's like a pretty sparkly sheen on the paper that you'll see okay so here's the dry panel I'm just gonna take my paper cutter and I am going to trim that in half and I'm gonna use both of these panels for this uh, card today and I'm making a Mother's Day card so I decided to get this video edited and uplet uploaded to release on Mother's Day um, so yeah, next I'm taking some, uh, wafer dies. Um, this one, I cut out one of the panels using the crafters companion grand swirls, which I'll show you guys. And then, um, I'm also going to be using a spell binders, uh, die and it's going to be the radiant rectangles, uh, later on in this video. And I'll show you that as well. I really love this because you can cut out the inside of the grand swirls or you can cut it out as a whole panel uh, with borders. So I just wanted to add this to this panel to add some texture and a little bit of dimension and I like the look of it. So this is uh, where I, I brought in the uh, radiant rectangles uh, by Spellbinders and I wanted to just mat that pretty shimmery panel on top of the rectangle panel <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut that panel down to fit right in the inside of the rectangle panel and that is going to be the background for today's card Another tip um, that I could say when you're using these really intricate dies, when you're needing to adhere a die cut like that to a panel, using spray adhesive is a great way to get that done. But I found that with uh, my art glitter glue and having this really tiny, tiny, tiny nozzle, it made it easier to apply glue to the back of that um, 
grand swirls uh, cut out and get it adhered. Um, so it, it wasn't that bad, but I know spray adhesive is a lot easier. You just have to really protect your work surface when you're using that. The thing I like about using the liquid glue is I do have a little bit of time to uh, adjust and move my piece around uh, to get it exactly as I want it. So this is my background for my card. And I'm using a 5 by 7 inch um, a side folding card. And I actually use a little um, corner punch to add a little decorative corner. Um, on my card and I didn't show that on the video um, I'm adding some uh, adhesive tape runner to the back because I wanted to add a silver ribbon to this card um, and this ribbon I actually found this ribbon it was on sale it was the his and hers collection ribbon on sale at Hobby Lobby a little while ago it was 50% off um, I love it it matches that uh, silver sparkle cardstock really well and um, I just thought that made a really pretty accent for this card so I'm just going to adhere that all down to the front of my card base So next, I'm just going to tie a small bow to the front of my card. And next, I'm going to use an adhesive sticky dot to just hold my bow in place so that it does not come loose. And I love these little clear sticky dots because once you um, adhere whatever you need to adhere, they're clear and you can't see it. So and that was perfect um, to keep my little bow in place. I'm not really the best at tying bows, so I'm usually fussing with the bows for a while. I'm going to add uh, one more of those uh, sticky dots. And that will complete me getting my bow all situated. So here's what we have so far. And I just love this card. So next, I showed you guys these little butterfly stickers that I've found at Dollar Tree so I added three of those stickers for embellishments and I use another Spellbinders uh, labels die and I cut out a couple of those and then I'm taking the Simon Says Stamps um, um, they're like pre-printed sentiments and so I'm just cutting the one that says Happy Mother's Day out and I'm going to adhere that right on top of that label and I actually use some sticky dots to um, give that label a little bit of dimension on the front of my card. I stamped on the inside of the card and I used this Mother's Calligraphy stamp by Paper Inspirations. That's another old stamp that I've had in my stash that I really, really, really love. And that pretty much completes this card. If you guys like this uh, video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please click the link below to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.